All right, guys. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to use a tactical whip. Now, I, I bought this a few months ago, and I live, I love this weapon. It's a brutal, uh, very dangerous weapon. I actually, you know, compared it to the tactical stick, the tactical belt. I can tell you this is probably my, one of my favorite weapons. Um, just to show you guys the amount of damage that it could do, just. Like you guys, I'm going to pick a spot and you can see right there what it does. So you can imagine getting this whip into the face. So it's a whip and at the end over here has a pointing stabbing tool so I can stab. It has the grip over here where I can grab. You have the whip and you have at the end. Um, the way you would use a tactical whip is no different than more or less with a tactical stick where I'm going to hold it in here and use it to strike very quick Right, again, this is very lethal, guys, right? So uh, the amount of force that you use must parallel the amount of danger that you're in. So if your life was in danger and you were faced with somebody with a knife, using this is, is a great tool to give you that range. I'm also gonna get into almost like a boxing stance. I could also lead with my hand and I'm whipping here. The only thing I've seen, there's a type of back, there's a type of back whip to it that as I do this, it does hit me sometimes in the back or in the leg, but obviously not, not enough. So I could be here where I'm doing this, right? And I'm boom, and I'm here, I'm holding the person back. At some point I decide I'd rather be here and just boom, 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 boom. And I'm striking into the face. I'm, I'm still using my arms and my legs. I also have this part, point over here to stab. So Costa, come over here. So if I'm in close quarter, right? Let's say, and I did the whip and somehow he stepped in and he grabbed and he came here. This is when, now watch this, Costa, tell me if you feel this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, he feels it right away. This is when I'm gonna use this part over here, which is actually pointy and stab, to stab into the shoulder, stab into the throat, stab into the neck, stab into the eye. I could also, I don't even wanna put power. Look, look at the amount, so, so give me some power right here. So let's say I'm here. Oh, shit, you okay? Yeah. Like, you heard, you okay? Yeah, I heard. That hurt, huh? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't even put a lot of power, but just here, I don't even need to go for a specific pressure point. Anywhere I, I put that pressure, I'm doing damage and I'm pulling the person in. So I could go into the shoulder, into the bicep, into the eyes. The whip becomes kind of useless, but if I strike here and I went boom and he moved back, this is when the whip starts to come in. And again, if his hand is there, I'm going to strike into the hand because I'm going to go to closest weapon, closest target. Strike here, strike there. Costa, you feel like coming in on this, so. right? So if I'm here and I'm keeping it here, it's like boom, boom, and I'm moving back. So again, it, I, I actually like this tactical whip. Uh, however, you have to train it, guys. Train it. I keep it in my gym, right? That's one of the weapons I have right next to my door. Anything happens. This is probably one of the first weapons. Uh, I don't want to get into the legal issues of what country we're allowed to get it or not. The amount of force that you use, again, must parallel the amount of danger. If your life is in danger, somebody breaks into your home and has a knife or you're faced with a knife in the street and you have this, don't hesitate to use it because this range is what's going to give you one whack into the face or into the weapon hand. You're definitely going to keep them back. And again, once you clinch, forget about this part, but this is where I'm striking, I'm kneeing, I'm elbowing. But more importantly, I'm just striking, I'm ripping, I'm tearing, I'm eye gouging, I'm striking, I'm pressure pointing to control the person with this part right over here. So again, guys, a great tool. So um, again, I'm gonna be doing more tactical weapons. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the tactical flashlight, belts. Cause again, I wanna teach you guys how to use improvised weapons, but you know, nothing, you know, you could also buy one of these, keep them at home as just as, as a safety, but do, in any weapon I teach you, don't get emotionally attached to the weapon. And a weapon is ex an extension of your hand. So if you buy one, make sure to train with it on a bob dummy, maybe get a training partner who's gonna put on like some hockey gloves or a mask and go very light. So don't use it for the first time in the street. Train with it, get comfortable with it, see how it works and how it moves before you decide to like use it for the first time and hopefully it never happens, but in a real life situation. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanna thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.